Hi everyone, we're back at UKGE. We're here with Owen Davey from Owen Davey Games. How are you yeah. doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm excellent. Good. Even more so after playing your wonderful game. <laughs> Thank you Fable. very much. Thank you. So, I'm sure you've heard this a lot. The artwork really draws Thank you. Really. Um, do you understand you did all yourself? Yes, yeah, I've been an illustrator for about 15 years, so this is the sort of thing that uh, I feel most comfortable with. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, any excuse to draw some monsters and people with swords and all that jazz. Yeah, so, so you decided, oh, I'll make my own game. Yeah, I wanted something that was uh, built for me, built for all my passions. I love board games and things like that. And uh, drawing and all my kind of fantasy nerdness and reveling in that kind of, uh, <laughs> that world. So what's the theme of the game that you've uh, created? So it's a sort of generic fantasy, I guess. It's, uh, it's not built from any one sort of, uh, you know, folklore or mythology or any of that kind of stuff. A lot of stuff is made entirely by myself but there's also pop culture references mixed in there as well yeah uh so yeah um it's it's kind of a, a fantasy game and trying to uh do stuff in a slightly different way as well so there are sometimes fantasy you have some problematic tropes and things yeah trying to avoid those trying to be as inclusive as i can be with the artwork and all yeah. that kind of stuff as well uh yeah okay cool so when a player's turn what sort of things will they be doing to try and win the game so they have three actions on their turn and they can spend those actions to purchase cards from the market to make their hand more powerful. Yeah. They can use the actions instead to make their cards more powerful and yeah. do more damage. Uh, or they can draw monsters which they're going to try and fight. Uh, and when you defeat a monster then you uh, gain points basically for uh, defeating it. Yeah. And there's also contracts that uh, are triggered by certain actions you do on your turn. It's all about trying to gain as much fame as you possibly can yeah. uh, and move around the track. So there's a lot of cool iconography on, on, on all the cards as well, which, which helps a lot. Thank so if, you. We, if we look at a couple of the, the examples sure. here, so um, why don't you pick, pick one that you uh, think is interesting to look at? Sure, so uh, the Sator, for example, uh, it says that it's vulnerable to these types of damage. Yeah. So there are certain cards that uh, will be able to do double damage if you apply them uh, to it. So. Uh, this card, for example, the Alchemist, if you play them against that, they are worth uh, two damage usually, but because this is vulnerable, it would do four damage right, to the Sator. Okay. Um, so a lot of the complexity of the game tends to come from the way you choose to use your cards yeah. on your turn. So the, the damage value, oh, sorry, the, the health points of the enemy, sure. is how many points you will get for defeating it. Absolutely. But then we've also, so we've got the score tracker in the air, so or the fame tracker. Right? The, the fame right? track, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we've also got these skulls. Yes. And, and they're very bad, as I found out to my, to my cost, but why Absolutely. don't we explain how they work? Sure, so if you end your turn after, let's say, you've scored nine points on your turn, you will end on this. It means you have to immediately draw a legend, which is basically a very difficult monster that is trying to kill you. Yeah. Uh, and you have to fight that on your next turn. So sometimes you want to make sure you try and land on eight or ten instead to avoid that thing. As the game progresses, you will encounter legends more and more just by the way you move around the track. Yeah. And there's also a cool catch-up mechanism you've put in, which is in the form of these moves as well. Yes, absolutely. So if, for example, uh, you are the orange player and the grey player is here, when someone moves past a token like this, they will take it. Uh, this refreshes cards and helps the other players initially. But also, when this player has their turn, there is one exposed moon between them and the front player, and so they will get a bonus action on their turn. Yeah. So rather than the usual three, they would take an extra one. So if someone's all the way back here, but someone's ahead, they'll get two extra actions. Absolutely, so you would have five on your turn. But the uh, it's only if they're exposed. So if, for example, yeah. this one was there, uh, and that one was there, you would get no bonus action. Because they're both covered up. Because right. they're both covered up. Okay. That would get you one action, etc. Awesome. So, yeah. So I think we've covered everything gameplay-wise, so sure. what's the plan to uh, get this into people's hands? It's coming to, is it Kickstarter? Kickstarter is the plan, yeah, so Kickstarter around, uh, probably around October, autumn is what I'm saying, to keep it yeah. slightly vague. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've still got to do a lot of the promotion of the game and stuff like that, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to get people to sign up to the mailing list for now. Uh, you know, I want to make sure this game is as amazing as possible, yeah. and uh, the more backers I get, the more I can kind of pump into the quality of the game and stuff. Um, you know, I want to make sure that I can get some proper custom meeples and all that kind of stuff. Make sure that the thickness of the cards and everything is great. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, that, that's my plan at the moment. I'm going to uh, Essen in uh, October as October, well to do Spiel. Yeah. So, uh, hoping to have Kickstarter available around that time as well. Awesome, okay. If people want to find out more, where should they go online? So, you can either sign up to the mailing list and keep kind of uh, 
keep track of it that way. You can go to my personal website, which is owendavy.com, and there's stuff there. But the, the easiest way is probably to go to Instagram and look up at Fame and Fable. Uh, I'm posting stuff there, awesome. and there's links to all the other stuff stuff there. So. I'll put that down below for people to, uh, to click on. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much, mate. We wish you all the best. I, I think this is wonderful. Thank you. Uh, I, yeah, I see what you say about the production quality. You want it to match the quality of the artwork. Absolutely. Really. I, want it, I want it to look its best, you know. Yeah. This is uh, my passion project. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, yeah, if you want to find out more, click the links below. But for now, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.